Hey guys, what is up, Card Shuffler 99 here today. Um, we are doing a bunch of small contests, so don't forget to check out every single video. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button and that subscribe button. Adam has a really cool trick, so let's get right to it. And so, who did this trick? Uh, this is Dave Blaine's from Real or Magic, so it's a great performance trick. Uh, so we're going to go straight to it. So here we have two fours and a queen. And basically, your job throughout this trick is to uh, keep your eye on the big boy queen. Big boy queen? The big boy queen, she's my boy, friend. but she's a girl. So, where's the queen? Uh, in the middle. Oh, right, know. clearly. Okay. About. So, it's in the middle, and once again, we have two fours. So, I need your hand here. So, if I go ahead and I give you the queen, right? Yeah. But check this out. Where would you say the queen is? Right here. It's actually here. Uh-huh. And you're actually already following the wrong card. So, we're going to try this one more time. Put your hand back out. Remember, two fours and a queen. If I give you the four, Okay. I give you the four. Where is the queen? Right there. Right here? Yeah. It's actually a four, and in your hand you have the queen! Alright, let's learn it. Alright. Uh, so, let's Enjoy get, the trick! Let's get straight to it. So, what we have here is a four, a queen. These are normal. And then we have the duplicated card and a double face card. Now, if you don't have a double face card, I recommend using double side tape and taping these two cards together. They should be identical, uh, but, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, it's fine to have these two cards taped because the double facer never goes in their hand anyway. Um, so, they're not going to feel it, I guess you could say. Alright, so once you have this, uh, I like to go with two fours and a queen. But you can do two queens and a four if you wanted to. Uh, but for this tutorial, let's go with two fours and a queen, okay? So, for this, you can do it any way you want. Now, I'm sure Dave Blaine didn't do it the exact way I did it. But you can really make up as many routines as you want for this. Um, and it's really based off the same principle. Um, so, what you're going to do, have the double face card on the bottom. And you're going to have the four there. The other four and then the queen okay and what I start out by doing is mixing it okay even though you want to stop and keep it at the same order so make sure the double face card is always on the bottom and the queens on the top as you mix these up you're going to go by your head now you want to do this in a large motion where you're going like up by your head and you're just flipping it over so when you flip it over now the queen is here because it's the facer now you need to keep your eye on the four the middle card so when you flip it over, and once again, don't do this right in front of their face because it makes no sense for that to be there. Go, you know, up and say, you want to follow the queen. And I like to do that. But remember, when you flip it over, you're going to keep an eye on the middle card. And you're going to bring that middle card to the top. And the queen is going to stay here in the middle. So now I have the four here. This is the other queen, which is why you don't want to flash it. Okay, so that's, never, that's not going to be flipped over. Go ahead, you ask them, where's the queen? They're going to say it's in the middle. They're going to be right. Flip over this top four, and what you're going to do, this is a move that's used throughout the entire trick. It's basically flipping this over, just like that, okay? And again, this doesn't really make sense, but you got to use it in a big, large motion. And all that's happening is I'm just pushing the four off as I flip my hand over. So this is going off as I put my hand over. So once again, you're pushing as you're flipping your hand over. And by doing that, now I have the double facer here. It just looks like a four, right? And you're like, okay, if I give you the queen, right, this is a four, okay? The queen that they were looking at the whole time is a double facer. So if you go like that, you say, if I give you the queen, then where's the queen? They're going to be like, it's right here, but they're going to be wrong because it's actually here, right? This is the normal queen. Now, once you flip this queen over, put it on top of the double facer, okay? Take this back from them. This card has done its job for at least my routine. So I take this back with the queen on top, the normal queen. You're doing the same motion. You're going to push it off. So I push it, put it in their hand, say, okay, now you have the four. I have the queen here. And all I do is I just give it a mix around. And to lose the queen, I cover the queen with the four, square it up, give it a flip, continue, continue mixing it. Be like, all right, where is the queen? They're going to say it's right here. Well, that's a four, and then the queen is there. And honestly, a lot of people are going to think this is a double face card. However, it's so fast, the trick, and there's so much happening that people get really confused. Now, um, you could also have a backup four that you could replace the double backer with if you want to finish clean. If and you there's, there's so many ways you can do it. You can continue it any way you want. But anyway, that's just a quick way you can do it. That's it takes David a lot Blaine. of practice. A lot but of anyway, practice. guys, that is all for this video, and this is Card Shuffler. 
99. Peace. Practice makes progress.